Hey y'all, welcome back to the garden. Welcome back to the homestead. Today we are going to be talking about dandelions. And most specifically, we're gonna be showing you how to make dandelion coffee. Let's go. So as I've mentioned before, dandelions are not a weed. They are an edible, all parts of the dandelion. But today we're gonna to be talking about the roots specifically and how to make coffee out of them. So we're gonna dig these up using our hori hori knife. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description below. It was given to us by a subscriber. Thank you so much. So we're gonna take a hori hori knife, we're gonna jam it down right next to the root and push sideways. And in doing that, we're gonna be able to get out a big dandelion root. If you don't do that, they kind of snap off in the ground. So you wanna use some sort of implement to get them out. All right, from there, we're just gonna cut that root off, clean it up the best we can out here, take it in, and we're gonna scrub it really good. So to make things quicker, we just grabbed a whole bunch of dandelions from outside. Instead of snipping them off outside, we're going to take our kitchen shears here and snip off the roots. So once we've got our roots cut off, we're going to take one of these plastic bristled scr little scrub brushes here that I found this works incredibly well to take the dirt off these roots. You want to scrub them really, really good to get all the dirt off from outside in the garden. Once we have all of our dandelion roots uh, cleaned up, cut off and cleaned up, we are going to chop them into small pieces. Now, you want to make these pieces as even as possible because our next step is to dehydrate them. So if it's thicker, you want to cut a little bit smaller pieces. If it's thinner, you can stick with bigger pieces. Just make sure they are all about the same size. So what that's going to ensure is an even roasting process. So you're not going to have some small pieces that burn during the roasting process and some large pieces that just don't roast properly all the way. You want them all relatively the same size so they all cook evenly. But first things first, before we do the roasting, we need to dehydrate them. Now you can do that one of two ways. You can simply leave them out on your counter for about a week and they, they actually dry out fairly quickly. Or you can use a food dehydrator like we're going to. Now, I usually set it on 135 degrees for about four hours. And that seems to work really well for the size that I cut them. We're gonna put our dandelion roots right on these special screens here. This works really well for small items. And we're gonna set that, like I said, oops. We're gonna set that, like I said, for four hours at 135 degrees. Here we go, here is our dehydrated dandelion root. What we're gonna do now is roast them. I've got our oven set to 350 degrees behind me. I've got a sheet or a uh, cookie sheet with some parchment paper on it. We're gonna dump these out on that parchment paper and roast them at 350 for 20 minutes. So if any of you are concerned that you're eating a weed or anything like that, I wanna talk about what a dandelion is. Dandelion is a close cousin. It is in the same family of plants as chicory. If you don't know what chicory is, it's actually Belgian endive. And the roots of the chicory plant are used to make coffee. There is a famous cafe in New Orleans, Cafe du Monde. I've been there many times. They, their famous cafe au lait is a half chicory, half coffee blend. So if you think that the dandelion is not going to make a good coffee, think again. If you're still having doubts, don't, because they also sell it in the store as a tea bag. It's in a tea bag, they call it a tea, but it's actually a, a coffee. It tastes like a coffee. So roasted dandelion root, this is what my wife drinks all the time when I'm not able to get her the dandelions out of the garden. But we have a huge supply right now, so no need to buy any more of this for the time being. So just keep an eye on your dandelion root. These were a little bit smaller than some of my last batches. So they actually cooked quicker. So it's been 15 minutes and they look like they're done. So you want to keep an eye on them. The normal is uh, 350 for 20 minutes, but like with any cooking, just keep your eye on it. So this is the type of roast that we like, but if you do like a darker roast, go for it. Just keep your eye on it and roast it to your liking. So our dandelion root is roasted. We're just gonna put this in our coffee grinder and grind it up the same way you would any other coffee, beans.
you can see the deep rich color of it, just really nice and dark like a normal coffee. Ah, oh, man, it's, it's got that coffee richness. There's not a whole ton of bitterness after you roast it, but a little bit light coffee because coffee is bitter. It's really good. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments section below. We'd be happy to answer them for you. Also, go check out this video right here on how to make a great no-knead bread. We love you, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.